Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video and this time it is from my new dorm. This is my third dorm in nine months, which is absolutely crazy and I hope that I will be able to stay here for a lot longer than my last dorm. So yeah, if you guys want to see a dorm tour, let me know in the comments down below. I also have a bookshelf here so I could also do like a dorm bookshelf tour if you guys wanted me to do that. But today I'm here with another topic and that is my April wrap up and my May TBR. And the fun part about my May TBR is that you guys decided two out of the four books which I'll be reading in May. Or at least that I'll try to read in May because I, I don't really have that much time because of university but what's new people? So let's just first start with my April wrap up and the first book that I finished in April is Rebel of the Sands by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the first book in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy and this was my second time reading it and I loved it just as much as the first time. Maybe even more because I read it a lot quicker, I feel like. Maybe that's not true, but I definitely remembered a whole lot more of the story. I own the second and the third book in the trilogy and I really wanted to continue on with it because I loved Rebel of the Sand so much, but I forgot like the last 100 pages of the story and those were like very critical to the whole plot. So I just wanted to reread everything because I loved it so much and like, why not reread it? I'm gonna grab my phone, but I'm pretty damn sure that I gave it still like a five out of five stars. I don't know, I just really love the whole world and the magic in the system. So the story is about Amani and she is an orphan. She lives with her aunt and uncle, which aren't that nice to her. And she lives in this town called Dustwalk, which is a very boring, empty city. She wants to flee that tiny town and she wants to go to Isman, which is the capital of her country, which is called Miraji. And she is trying to escape Dustwalk when she meets this really strange foreigner. She is really good with guns and it's just an amazing world. I loved it so incredibly much. It's just one of my favorite books ever. The writing style is great and the cover is also really really pretty. And then I went to Dublin with my mom and I bought quite some books there. I will leave a link to that video, my Dublin book haul, somewhere here on the screen so you guys can watch it. But I bought a book there and I immediately wanted to start it because it just, I just brought back so many childhood memories and that one is Matilda by Roa Dahl. I had to change the camera position because all of a sudden my camera just went down. But what I was trying to say about Matilda is that I've never read it in English and I loved it so much because I read this uh, in Dutch when I was around I think 9 or 10, so 10 years ago. I loved the whole story. It just made me feel like a child again and I want to read so many more Roald Dahl stories. I think I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars too, but I'm gonna have to check. So yeah, yes, I did give this one a 5 out of 5 stars because it just was so much fun and like there is nothing that I can complain about. Well, maybe the size, it's really small. I would love to have a bigger book. <laughs> and then I have more of like the book that I'm currently reading and that is Traitor to the Throne by Alwyn Hamilton. This is the second book in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy and oh man, I really am enjoying myself. It's just taking me a long time because it is 570 pages, but right now I'm at 3 326 so I'm definitely more than halfway through which is really like motivating for me because it's a big book y'all. This follows the events of Amani after Rebel of the Sands and I won't say anything because spoilers I don't know if I'm loving it just as much as Rebel of the Sands I just I really love the ambiance of that book. This one is also really good though like no shade but it's just that Rebel of the Sands has something magical to me. Can't wait to finish this one though in May so right now let's go on to the really exciting part and let's find out which books you guys picked for me to read in May. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my You Pick My May TBR first if you want to. There was a poll in that video, not everyone saw it, but I think the majority of you guys voted through the poll, but I've been keeping a track of that for like every single day. Oh my god, it was such, such a thrill. Right now, I'm gonna start my video and let's see what won. I had two picks for my contemporary book, which I'm gonna read in May. So I had Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samira Ayet, is I think how you pronounce her name. And I also had The Exact Opposite of Okay by Laura Steven. This one is so even, it's incredible. I don't know how this is possible. I think YouTube has something wrong with their system. <clears throat> What a surprise. Love, Hate, and Other Filters has 49% of the votes and the exact opposite of OK has 
50%. Where did the 1% go? I don't know, but I will be reading the exact opposite of Okay by Laura Steven, and I'm really excited. Every single time that I'm gonna say this author's name, I wanna say Laura Stevens because Steven just sounds unfinished to me for some reason. So this book is about Izzy, and um, she was doing some really fun things with a politician's son on a bench and people took photos of her and made a website about her. Together with her best friend she's gonna try to figure out who made the website and it's like all about how the world treats girls and that it's not okay how the world treats girls. It's like a feminist young adult novel and I'm really excited about that because I recently read Moxie by Jennifer Matthew which is also a feminist YA novel which I loved and I hope that I will love the exact opposite of okay just as much. I read two of the 300 and something pages and I already laughed out loud like oh I loved it so I hope that the rest of the book is gonna be like that because then I will have a great time reading this. And so next up, I asked for a fantasy read in May, and this one was like a clear winner, <laughs> like from the get-go. With 74%, The Hobbit won over Steelheart. I will try and pick up The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. I think it's time, people. This is just a classic story. I don't know anything about the plot. I also don't know anything about The Lord of the Rings, which is a different series from J.R.R. Tolkien, which you all know. I have never explored the J.R.R. Tolkien universe so I'm really excited that I'm gonna do that with this book and I cannot wait to pick it up. And then this is more of like the ambitious part because I, it's been a long time since I finished four books in a month but if I'm able to do that I want to pick up what's it called? I want to pick up the third book in the Rebel of the Sands trilogy, but I forgot the name. Hero at the Fall by Alwyn Hamilton. I want to pick up that one. It's also a really big book. It's at home so I don't have a copier with me, but I, I just want to read the Rebel of the Sands trilogy right now. It's just so amazing and I think you all should really check it out. So this is a part of my April wrap up and my May TBR. Some of the books are at home so I don't have them here with me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button here down below. It would mean a whole lot to me so thank you so much already. You guys can also follow me on all of my different social media pages. Of course, I have good Snapchat, Instagram, plus an email address and links to those will be in the description bar down below as well. Again, thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!